With the Arctic possibly ice-free as soon as the summer of 2013, the world will warm even faster as the Arctic's waters absorb the sun's rays rather than being reflected by ice. Further, the warming could cause methane gases trapped in the Arctic's permafrost to be released as the tundra thaws, turning up the thermostat even more. The result, unfortunately, might bring on a doomsday scenario befitting a Hollywood disaster film. But this will be no movie. Possible species extinction. Over the last two summers, uh, there were increased number of sightings of polar bears swimming in open water, chasing basically ice edge that has retreated so far north that there is little chance that those polar bears will reach this ice before they drown. The likelihood of superstorms picking up strength from warming ocean waters. We do expect there to be more extreme weather all over the world. More extreme droughts, more extreme floods. As a whole, we expect these sorts of things to increase. Oceans on the rise. The next thing people usually worry about is the Greenland ice sheet. And it's this two mile pile of snow. And if that were to melt, it raises global sea level about 23 feet. Worldwide, hundreds of millions of people near the coasts may be pushed inland, with lowlands like southern Florida threatened with submersion. And major coastal cities from New York to Shanghai, flooded. And there may be one other negative effect of a Greenland melt. Cold water runoff could divert the warm Gulf Stream from reaching Europe, plunging that continent into a mini ice age. You could change that ocean current, and that could actually change the climate abrupt. And that's not all. Rainfall patterns could be disrupted. In the past, whenever it froze in the North Atlantic in the winter, it got dry in places where a lot of people live, like a couple of billion people in the monsoon belts. And so if this happened, it would be just a hideous disaster. Meanwhile, the man-made greenhouse gases being released now will not dissipate anytime soon. All the greenhouse gas we produce today will be in the atmosphere for the next 200 years. It takes that long to cycle out through the ocean. So whatever change we do today, we have a warming that is predicted even when we reduce significantly today our CO2 output. Current computer models predict that in the next 90 years, Earth's temperature will rise up to 6 degrees, with the Arctic warming by 12 degrees or more. This would result in a 3-foot sea level rise. Yet it's worth noting that to date, computer models have greatly underestimated Arctic sea ice melt. The climate models are showing less change than what we're actually seeing, suggesting that those climate models are conservative. There is no debating that the Arctic is warming and there is growing scientific consensus that the burning of fossil fuels is the likely culprit. Many governments are now considering innovative ways to generate energy and limit fossil fuel use in hopes of reversing the warming trend. I believe that we have the capability of screwing things up. But I also believe, ultimately, that we are sufficiently smart that we will rise to the challenges that this presents. We know the sketch of what it would look like to generate all the energy we're using now and more without changing the climate.